Hey friends, welcome to Oxygen, Navigating Life and Breaking the Chains of Self-Doubt podcast. This is Jen. I'm writing solo this week. I am so happy to be here with you today. One of the reasons I'm writing solo, I if you follow me on social media, I've been talking about this concept of test days. And a test day, all it is, it's when life is squeezing you a little bit harder or throwing a little bit more at you than the average everyday stress that we have. So I'm riding solo because this past three months and the past few weeks for Wendy and I have been, we've been in those moments, those test (laughs) moments, days, months. And what we like to do on Fridays is we like to connect, catch up, and see how each other's doing, get our workout in, and then talk on our podcast. And this week, being that it was a heavy week for both of us, we decided to nurture ourselves and just allow ourselves to work out, talk, and crank up the music in the gym and have a dance party, knowing that I would be doing this today for you. I hope it's a reminder that. Well, if you're anything like me, I used to be this all or nothing person, meaning like I would work out and if I missed a day, I would start to eat. Or for instance, if this podcast, I would be like, ah, I'll do it next week. Or, you know, what, I I give up because it's like it's just too much. But what I've learned is that these are opportunities for me to train my mind and body, train myself to keep showing up, train my confidence. And so test days really start to train our confidence. And what do I mean by that? A test day is that for me, it's been family members' health and then declining and in and out of hospitals, rehabs, the stress of the people around her, and then also the stress it puts on relationships. And the same with Wendy having somebody get hurt and the stress of that. So With all that coming at you, your everyday stresses in life just seem to be overwhelming. Those are the moments we have two choices. We can give up on the day, go back to bed. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. Trust me, I've wanted to do that. But this podcast is about building confidence and breaking the chains of self-doubt. So if you can just show up even when you don't want to, This week I worked out. It wasn't my best workouts. It wasn't my strongest workouts. And I simply showed up and I did everything that I could do at that moment. And that reassured myself and let me know that I keep showing up. That's one thing I've created and learned over the years is to just keep showing up for myself, even when it feels uncomfortable, even when it feels like I just want to crawl into bed, even when I'm exhausted and I'm tired. Because it's keeping that habit of honoring myself. And when I do that, I keep the promise to myself. And when I keep a promise to myself, I build my confidence. So this week's podcast is about tapping into your confidence by keeping your promises. And in doing that, you can really start to anchor in and manage those test moments, those test days, those test weeks, whatever it is for you, whatever is going on in your life. I want you to know, number one, you're not alone. We are all human beings. And on this journey of life, we all have highs and lows and moments where we want to give up. It could be giving up in our business, giving up on our new habits, whatever it is. I want you to know that's normal and it's natural. Even me on my journey of podcasting, writing, creating, I have my moments of self-doubt. When people around you see that you're changing, things can get a little weird and then you start to doubt yourself. I'm hoping this podcast is a reminder of just how strong you are, just how deserving you are. We're all deserving of living the life that we want to live and the happiness we want to create. And I want this podcast to be a reminder for you as well as for me. So in that, let's talk about these test days. And the test days are moments where everything is going sideways. Like you look up and it's one thing after another that keeps coming at you. And there's two ways to look at it. It's like, all right, bring it on day. What else do you have for me? And so this week there was times that I actually had to pull back from some of my work and 
just allow myself to be, allow myself to process. And that's okay. I don't think as a a society we do that enough. Give ourselves this opportunity to work things out in our minds. So I want to invite you if you're in that test moment, in that test day. So here's a few things. We're going to just talk about it. If you're in that test state of being right now, you're on that crazy ride and you're in the low of the low or maybe it's like a tornado of life flying around whatever you can relate to I like to think of it like sitting in the center or the eye of the storm of life and how do we sit in the eye of the storm and remain calm a few ways number one deep breathing if you never took the opportunity to take a deep breath and you're in that moment I want you to just take a deep breath in through your nose, breathe all the way down into your belly, and then exhale through the belly, out through the nose. Do that with me. Here we go. Big breath in. And a big breath out. And what that starts to do is it starts to settle the nervous system. So the first thing that you can do if you're in this chaotic period of your life is take that centering breath. Do three, four rounds of it, and it'll start to slow your nervous system down. The second thing that I do is I start to write out everything that is good in my life, everything that is going good in my life. Because what happens is when we're in that spiral, our mind goes to everything bad, and it's this pattern interrupt. There is always good in what seems to be the worst. And then another thing to do is stay grounded in your healthy habits. That is normally the first thing that we let go of, working out, eating right. Because when we're feeling overwhelmed or sad or anxious, we want to go for that heavy carb or that sugar. Oh, look, we get a visit from Kringle. If you can't see it, it's one of my puppies. (laughs) So on a side note, Kringle is a very energetic dog. And when people are sad, or overwhelmed, he likes to come up, put his paws on you, and give you a hug. So our energy is that radiant. Just remember that. So just think about what kind of energy you are carrying. Getting back to this idea of our test days, I want to have tools for you because these are tools that I use this week to keep me centered in the tornado of what's happening around me. So first off, it's the breathing. Second, it's the pattern interrupt of our thoughts, writing down, speaking, connecting to everything that's actually good in your life. And then staying rooted in your habits, exercise, drinking water, eating healthy, staying away from alcohol and sugars and all the processed foods, things that cause inflammation, which is stress in the body. And then a huge component is connecting with people who love and support you. The beautiful thing for me this week has been the people around me who truly love and support me, who have made the connection with me. And I am lucky to be a part of a mastermind group with people all around the world who love and support and don't even know me. And that is such a beautiful thing. I want that for you. I'm giving that to to you. So even though I might not know you yet, I want you to know that there are people who love and support and don't even need to know who you are. And Wendy and I in this community are that for you. Please know that you are loved, that you are worthy of love, that you are deserving of love. You're deserving of support. You are deserving of being happy, of being healthy. So if you're in that moment right now and life is chaotic or maybe you're starting a business and you don't know what to do, but it's that overwhelming feeling. Those things that keep you rooted binds your breath. Take a moment to write down what is good in your life. Be sure to stay connected to those healthy habits and routines. And if you don't have any or you don't know what they are, message me. I am here to help you create that. Find me on Facebook, Oxygen Mind's body. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, here. You know how to get in touch with me? Reach out to me. Habits, community, connection, 
all those things will help keep you anchored in the storm, those rough seas of life, because we are living human beings and we are going to all have those moments. So if we can find the tools, find the people that keep us anchored, I can assure you this is a temporary period in your life. So please hang on. Know that you are supported. Know that we are here for you. With all of that, I want you to know, please, at the end of the day, I leave you with this. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay connected. Till next week. I'll see you then.